we have gotten uh, a few managerial updates, right? We all know that this season we've been struggling, right? We all know that a lot of us are frustrated with Carlo. And I'm one of those people. And you know what? Before I get into it, let's just on the topic, bro. Xabi Alonso is being linked with the Real Madrid job. I mean, another day, same shit, right? Like, we've been seeing these stories for a while. But this one just came out recently saying that Real Madrid president Florentino Perez is preparing the groundwork to replace Carlo Ancelotti next season with Bayer Leverkusen boss Xabi Alonso. Now, I don't know about you, chat. But I'm not Jabby Alonso's biggest fan, right? I still have my reservations about this guy because I don't like his tactics. I don't like the back three. I just don't think we have the personnel to make it work. Now, you guys know I've been very frustrated with Carlo Ancelotti this season. After that Barcelona ass whipping, I am Carlo out. But me being Carlo out does not mean I want him sacked immediately. I just think this needs to be Carlo's last season. I'm very frustrated with this manager. I rate Carlo for what he's done. Arguably the most successful manager in club history in terms of trophies won in total. I've seen a lot of success because of this man. But this season, he's really lost it, chat. His tactics have been awful. I think he's a coward for how he's handling Mbappe. Mbappe's been shit. That old classical performance was arguably the worst one of the season. How does Mbappe play the entire game after being offsides about 10 times? Why don't you play Arda Guler more? Why is Jude Bellingham playing as a right back. This guy against Barcelona, average positional, was deeper than Lucas Vasquez. So yeah, I'm very frustrated with Carlo. And this needs to be his last season. But is Xabi Alonso the guy? I'm not too sure. I know that he's cooking at Leverkusen, right? They went invincible and they won the Bundesliga last season. They also won a domestic trophy so they did a double. They could have did a treble, but Lookman had different uh, plans in that Europa League final. Point is, I'm still not sold on Javi Alonso. I don't like the tactics. I don't think that we have the personnel to make that work. Now, obviously, if you bring in a Javi Alonso, he's going to make some signings. But with that being said, you're going to have to sell some players that I think a lot of us like and rate. Because positionally, where would they fit? Jabby, to me, played for the club, won things at the club. He knows what it means. But at the same time, being the manager for Bayer Leverkusen is very different than having to be the manager for Real Madrid. There's no pressure at Bayer Leverkusen. He's done an amazing job. But if they didn't win a trophy, last season if they would have came fifth they would have been happy with that as long as they're in europe Leverkusen, they don't got no complaints but when he comes to real madrid the expectation is for you to win immediately right there's no excuses of oh it's his first season in la liga he needs time to adapt and no 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 no, no. you have to succeed from day one because the expectations are for you to win trophies, win games, every game. Like, you cannot go out there and be playing bad. So, I just don't know if he'll be able to handle that kind of pressure. I, I really don't. Look, you saw what happened with Xavi at Barcelona. He was a legend of their club. He came through their academy. And he did have a good first season. But the media pressure was too much. This guy left. Halfway through his second season, he was ready to quit. I'm more so thinking of like a Jurgen Klopp. I, I would much rather go get a Klopp, right? Shit. Florentino Perez could be very convincing. What about Pep Guardiola? Look, I know Pep was at Barcelona, right? He's played for them and whatever. But who would have thought that we would have signed Luis Figo, who was the best player in the world from Barcelona? You never know. 
Pep hasn't signed a new deal yet at Man City. But Jabby, for me, I'm just not that convinced. Not as yet. And I do believe he wants the Real Madrid job because Jabby Alonso was arguably the hottest coaching commodity last summer. And all these big clubs needed a manager. Liverpool needed one. Bayern Munich. Barcelona. And he rejected all of them to stay at Leverkusen for one more season. Why is that? I believe he's waiting for this Madrid job. And how we've been playing so far this season, I think the managerial role at Madrid will be open. I don't think Carlo gets sacked, by the way. I think that the club just make an announcement that Carlo is staying at the club, but in a different role. Maybe he'll become like an ambassador for the club or something. I don't think you could just sack Carlo. He's done way too much for us to do that to him. But yeah, I think there's no reason if you're Xabi Alonso to reject Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, unless you want the Madrid job, because those are three huge clubs. Those are all major upgrades over Leverkusen. And I have to say, for Leverkusen, you got to give them credit because they've done a really good job in terms of keeping all their star players. Usually, when a team has a good season, a smaller team has a good season like what they had, they get rated. Right? You see all these people by their best play. Like, look at Girona last season. They cooked, got rated. Look at... Monaco, the year that they won Ligue 1 with Mbappe and all those guys, they got raided. We see it time and time again. But Leverkusen, not only were they able to keep Xabi Alonso, they were also able to keep all of their star players. Hincapi, Florian Wirtz, Jeremy Fringpong, Victor Boniface, like uh, Grimaldo. They kept everybody. Except for, I believe, uh, was it Pacho? No, Pacho didn't play for Leverkusen. He played for somebody else. Point is, I, I want to see what ja, what Jabby Alonso does this season. Now that he's in the Champions League, now that people are going to be more aware of, you know, your team and how good you guys were last season, right? I want to see how he manages in that. I want to know, is he going to be able to win the Bundesliga again, right? I don't have any expectations for Leverkusen to win a trophy this season. I don't think that they're going to win the Bundesliga. I don't think that they're going to win the Champions League. I think at best, they could maybe win a domestic cup like the DFB Pokal or some shit like that in Germany. So let's see my expectations and what would make me more open to the idea of a Jabby Alonso joining is if he has to make it a title race, right? I expect Bayern to win it and I wouldn't hold it against Leverkusen if they don't retain their title because Bayern Munich are Bayern Munich, but I expect him to be right there towards the end. I expect him to get out the league phase of the Champions League, right? You got to make the knockout rounds. And then, yeah, let's see how far you go in the in the domestic cups. But, yeah, just for me, tactically, and we can actually get into that, right? Um, I, I just don't like the setup. So let's actually do that, right? So let's do Real Madrid. under Xabi Alonso. And for anybody that wants him, get in the comment section and, you know, let me know why. Or if you have any other managerial preferences, let me know that as well. So at Leverkusen, right, he runs, I think, a 3-4-2-1 three, a three, four, two, one. I've seen him run that before. Something like this. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's build this real quick, right? So if he was our manager right now, because don't forget, chat, a lot of people wanted Jabby Alonso to come in last summer. So let's just say if he was our manager right now, this is how we'd probably look if everybody is fit, right? So Courtois would be in goal. I think Danny Carvajal, okay, I'm not seeing him here, but I think Carvajal would be that right center back let me see i think you'd have to nah i mean militao then rudiger right 
Huh. Then at left wing back, you would have to do Ferland Mendy. Okay. See, now this is where it gets complicated. Because, see? All right. I think maybe you do Chuameni, maybe Kemavinga next to him. And then what? Valverde at like as like that right wing back kind of role. Then I think you do Vinny, maybe Jude, and then Mbappe? Like, is this how we would look? Do you guys like this? This is just me thinking off the top of my head. Point is, it would be something similar to this. If Xabi Alonso was our manager. A 3-4-2-1. I don't like this at all. I much prefer a back four. I like the 4-2-3-1. I like the 4-3-3. I, shit, I take a 4-4-2. Bring back the diamond over this formation right here. I don't want to see this, right? Maybe if we make some other signings, right? We're linked to Trent. We're linked to Alfonso Davies. Maybe if you have Alfonso Davies as the left wing back, then this looks a lot better, right? You have Trent as the right wing back. But then where's Valverde going to play? Where's Chuameni Camavinga going to play? Where's Rodrigo going to play? So un unless Jabi Alonso would come into the team and adjust his tactics, I don't know how I feel about this. I just don't think that we have the personnel that gets the best out of everybody. Like, that's kind of where I'm coming from. 